Hi, my name is Willie Wong, and I am the Chief Creative Officer for NYC and Company, which is the City of New York's official marketing tourism partnerships organization. What our organization does for the city is to maintain a positive brand image for New York. Lots of different industries represent the vitality of New York, from fashion to finance, media. And um, a few years ago, there was a report that uh, the Center for Urban Futures put out that identified design as an industry that the city should really embrace. And there should be a moment in time where the city actually celebrates all of the great design that happens in New York City. So we created a platform called NYC by Design. Basically, it's a 12-day festival that starts with the Freeze Art Fair and ends with ICFF. Some of the main players in there would definitely be Wanted Design, ICFF. There's a lot of exciting stuff going on in the NoHo Design District. We have major institutions in New York as well, from the Cooper Hewitt National Design Museum to the Museum of Modern Art, the Museum of Art and Design. Everyone is putting on a show about design. New York City has always been one of the leaders of design, but they never really came together to celebrate it in a, an official way. So creating this platform now gives New Yorkers and everyone who is coming to New York a specific time frame in which to come. Events like ICFF bring in close to 30 or so thousand people a year, um, and that's just for ICFF. That's part of the exercise going forward in changing the way that we measure the impact of design in New York City to really think about and track visitation and the economic impact. The city's economic development corporation tracks a lot of different categories and industries. Design is one that the city is going to start to evaluate going forward. How many people are coming for design? How many people are staying in hotels for this purpose? How many people are buying furniture, buying whatever services? So I think whenever we're taking on an initiative, we're looking at both the qualitative cultural effects, um, at the same time the economic impact. I think the Bloomberg administration has definitely focused on design as a competitive advantage for the city. Everything from amazing built environments to even landscape design. Uh, the administration focusing on celebrating something like the High Line, where you take an old train track and turn it into a public space. The number of people who are walking down avenues versus cars versus bikes, there's a real consideration on transforming what it means to be a city. In 2009, um, they discovered that there were almost 40,000 designers in New York City. And by far, that's a huge concentration compared to other cities in the US. And so there's a real reason to invest in the sector. And I think the city's uh, focus on design now um, is, a, is a beginning of something really interesting and fascinating.